Hello, my name is Tridar, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a cat statue in Minecraft. Let's get started. All right, let's take a closer look at our feline statues here. With these statues, what you see is pretty much what you get. There are a couple of different color combinations I'm submitting here for your evaluation. I'm going to be showing you how to build the diorite one, but feel free to substitute the materials you see here with any color of cat that you would uh, like to build also materials like if you don't um, if you don't have enough diamonds for this one you can use things like glowstone or perhaps emerald would pair well nicely for an obsidian cat or blackstone cat and of course you can use some sea lanterns if you want to have some glowing eyes as well all right, so our cat statue is rather large, but the build of materials is not too bad. So I'm going to be showing you that now. Now, inside of this, I have made the cat solid. Uh, but if you want to build a shell, you can leave off this stone filler here. It's just uh, 2,126 blocks of stone filler material. Uh, the exterior, however, is going to be, be made out of an even 1,000 blocks of diorite. Uh, I didn't plan it out to be an even 1,000. It just worked out that way. 381 blocks of basalt. This is mostly for the base of the statue. 35 blocks of gold for the collar and around the paws there. 187 blocks of black stone. This is also for the base. And uh, 9 diamond blocks for both the ornament on the collar and the eyes. But as I've said, if you want to substitute these materials, just choose... Uh, whichever different materials you want to use for this and make your own substitution. As I've said, there are four examples here for you to choose from, but there are uh, many colors that you can choose to build your cat. If you want to put a pattern in it, you could perhaps use some of the stained clays and, and make a little spotted cat, if you so choose. Uh, but let us now begin the tutorial. It's not going to be too bad, really. Um, the dimensions for the statue are as follows. It is 13 blocks wide that way for the base, 25 blocks long back that way, and 39 blocks tall all the way up to the tip of the ears up there. So to start with, you want to make a base of 13 by 25 out of basalt here. And as we go, I'm going to be using the red wool as a laser pointer to illustrate the uh, block count as we go. On the inside here, as I've said, if you want to save yourself a little bit of materials, you can leave the interior in here hollow, uh, also for the base, but also for the cat itself. Uh, but here is the completed base. It's just four blocks tall. And as you can see, we have a, a very simple pattern of uh, random assortments of blackstone, random types, and uh, basalt outlining that here as well. Of course, we have a square, and an incised square of basalt um, on the top here with a ring of blackstone around that there. Of course, if you want to make your base out of something else, you're free to do so. Or if you uh, want to leave off the base completely and uh, have your cat sit on uh, some other structure you built, uh, we will now begin with the layer-by-layer layer part of the tutorial. So we are going to be building this like a 3D printer. Uh, each layer, one at a time, one block, layer by layer, until we get all the way to the top of our cat. And uh, for this, um, I should I should remark, uh, if anything I'm going over is uh, too difficult in the video only, uh, this world here is available for download in the video description. So you can come here and take a look at all of this for yourself. Uh, as you can see in the middle here, we have the stone filler material that I talked about. You can leave this hollow if you don't want to use the stone, uh, but it's not that much stone, so I would suggest making your uh, your cat solid so things don't spawn inside of it. Uh, we will start, I think, up here with the paws. Now, in general, this cat is going to be uh, symmetrical uh, once we get above the level of the tail, by the way. So I'll be showing you how to build uh, half the cat and then the portion with the tail. So let's start here along our center line. So as I've said, the cat is symmetrical. So if we build a part of the cat like that, 
on that side of the center line, we build another part, mirror image, on the other side of this red line that you can draw that will go all the way through your cat, except for the tail. All right, so let's start up here with the paws. So I think, as you can see here, we just got a simple um, scheme of diorite there. And then four blocks behind that, you then want to go for three blocks here, then three, two, two, and two here at the back. And this is going to be our center line. So you would go for three, then two again, two again, four, two, uh, four here in the middle, one and another four like that there. So let me show you this from the top down. And for the tail back here as well. So from the back, we have our center line right here. So our tail is going to be three blocks. And then a two by three, then one, skip one, two, two here, one here, then a two by eight, and then a three. All right, so there is the red place for all of our all of our cat. Now, for those of you that don't need the red, I will just show you the top down to start with. And then I will count out on top of this so you can see the block counts. So we've got three, one, one, and one. Here along the middle here, let's start at the middle. We have one, two uh, in diagonal, two here, two there, four, three, and then a three diagonal. And for the tail back here, we're going to be doing two, then three, four there, three here, and two right there. So that there for the tail. Next phase, third block up. We're adding the ornaments around our uh, paws here. It's just two by two blocks. Now along our center line right here, it's going to be our center block. We want to count from that and including it, one, two, three, four, five, then four, two, one, two, uh, what, three, and then one here. And I think we're going to have two here, one, two, five, and then another three there. And I think that uh, we actually did finish our tail. So the tail is only two blocks tall. So from this point, the cat is going to be uh, completely symmetrical, I think. Not counting uh, this little part back here for the tail. So if we move on to the next phase here, we are putting four blocks there, starting at our, at our center. We're counting one, two, two again, one, two, four, and then a four a diagonal here to get back to the center line where it comes out at the back there. All right, next phase, top down. Four blocks there. Here's our center line. So we're counting one, two, three, four, five, three, three here two diagonal, and then three flat at the back here, along the center line at the back. All right. Next phase, top down. We've got a three and then a one here. Along our center, we have one, two, three, four, three, one, two, and one. Next phase for the legs, we have three blocks along our center. We count one, two, three, four, five, four, two, two again, then three. All right, next slice, top down, four blocks for the legs. 
along our center. One, two, then three, three again, two, two, one, and then two. All right, next phase. It's uh, not the biggest statue I've done, so this should go rather quickly. Five blocks. One, two, two, one, four, two, two, one, and one. Next phase. Six blocks here. Three and three like that. One, two, two there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One and two. There we go. Next phase. Three, one, one, and two. One, two there. Two, one, two, three. Eight blocks for that one. And then two. Next phase, we're now connecting our legs to the body of the cat. So let's start here at the middle. One, one there. Then one, two, three, four, five. One and one there. Then two. One, two, three. Nine. And then three here at the back for our center line right there. And here we go. Next phase. We'll start at the middle. One, one, two, two there, two again, two a diagonal. One, two, three, nine, one, and then two. Here again, top down, starting at the middle, three diagonal, two, four, two, three, nine. Then three back there at the back. We'll turn the corner here, top down. Beginning at the front, in the middle, one, two, one, two, three, nine, one, two. Next phase, in the middle, one, two, uh, what? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I think that was seven, and then three. Over here, we now have the first block for our collar, so we will start with that one, and then one behind it, and then three, six, four, one, and three. All right over here, a bit more for the ornament hanging off the collar. Uh, what? One, two, two again, six, three, one, two. All right, here again. One, one again, two. Six, two, one, two. Back here for the next one. One, one, uh, two, a diagonal. Four, two, one, two. Here in the middle, one, two, two again, two, three, two, 
and one. We're almost up to the head now. One, three, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, three, two diagonal, and two. One, two, two, one, one, two diagonal, and two. One, 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 two, three, four, five, two. I believe that will finish the collar. Now we're just building the head. One, one, four, two. One, and I think also this hangs out a bit, so one, two, three, four, three, two, two, and two. Again here for the nose, one, well, one there, then two, two again, four, and then three diagonal. One, two, one, three, one, two, one, two. Here again, one, two, one, three, two, three, and one. All right, we have our eyes now. One, two, what, two for the eyes. One, two, one, and then three. One, two, three, four, one, five. Three by three, two and two. One, two. And then one and two again for the tops of the ears. And once you have done that, your cat statue will be complete. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial for the cat statue. I know that uh, everybody loves Minecraft and they also love cats, so I'm putting both of those together for you here. But I wanted to make something that looked a bit more like an actual cat instead of the blocky cats that we have in Minecraft. So I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.